Hey everyone, it's Beth Butler with Hope Unlimited with another tip to help overwhelm professionals excel. Do you ever feel like your life is too busy for you to bother with the courtesies and niceties? Come on, be honest. Sometimes we just want to get something done and it feels like it's going to take a little extra time to try to be really kind on that phone call or write that email in a more gracious way. However, I do think that being kind is one, the right thing to do, uh, and two, it does tend to get better results, I think, for you and your reputation, if nothing else. But let me tell you about a little struggle I'm having with something right now. Um, I have had a piece of mail that's come back to me a couple of times. I'm trying to get off the mailing list for this particular organization, and it's not their fault. It's actually recycling back through with the post office. And um, they're, it's in a busy time of year right now, and I think they're just seeing my address and throwing it back in my business post office box. Even though one time I did mark up return to sender, please remove from mailing list. So today I'm going to try and see if I can circulate it back into the mail, but have it get back to the organization so that they can save money and take my name off of something that I'm not interested in anymore. This time, what I decided to do before I drop it in the mail again is I added a sticky note. It's clearly marked on the card to return to center, but on the sticky note, I have added this. And I said, thank you for not returning this to my P.O. box. I'm trying to get the sender to remove me. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but I could have gotten on there and said, this, you know, please take care of this. Please don't return to my box with the big exclamation points. But I, I'm opting to go with the kindness factor of thank you for not doing this. When you precede a request by saying thank you ahead of time, I believe it can put in the person's mind a little sense of obligation, maybe even, that, wow, they're already thanking me for ta getting this taken care of. So maybe I'll just get on it. Now, I don't know, can't guarantee what's going to happen, and there might be a follow-up episode that will say, here it is again. Uh, if that happens again for another time, then I'm just going to fold this up and put it in an actual envelope, bite the bullet, buy a stamp, and send it to the organization, uh, because I just don't really want to receive these items again. But my encouragement for the tip for today, even if you are overwhelmed, Try to be nice in your approach and your language when you are emailing or calling, leaving messages, or even in person talking to someone. Proceed with a thank you on the assumption that they're going to do the right thing and get it done for you. So basically you're believing the best until proven otherwise. And you can deal more assertively with it later, but start out with assuming they're going to do it by thanking them in anticipation. That's all for now. If you need other tips and encouragement as an overwhelmed professional, please subscribe to my blog at bethbutler.com. Love to have you among my reader family, and I hope you have a great day that's a little less overwhelmed. Thanks for watching.